In February of 2023, one of the coolest eVTOL designs was rolled out. It was the Loader Airspeeder MK4. How was this design reached? What is the engineering behind this sleek eVTOL? These are the questions that will be answered in this video. If you follow the eVTOL news, you'll find that the front runners, namely Joby, Autoflight, and Lilium, are all trying to push for higher and higher speeds in their test flights. Both Autoflight and Lilium have achieved speeds of 155 miles per hour in early 2023. Joby Aviation has already achieved 205 miles per hour in 2022. In the ever progressing world of technology, pushing the envelope is a necessity. And for that, competition is required. A look at motor racing tells us that it's not just a platform for entertainment. It has been a hotbed of innovation that has given birth to many technologies which eventually found their way into road cars. Some of the technologies that transcended into ordinary cars from Formula 1 cars are active suspension, carbon fiber body, ceramic brakes, advanced engine technology, and hybrid powertrains. In light of this, it was envisaged that state-of-the-art eVTOL racing would provide a perfect platform for the promotion and acceleration of technologies of future flying cars. eVTOL racing will be similar to traditional motorsports in that it will involve racing on a closed course, but the course will be designed to take advantage of the flying capabilities of the vehicles. The courses will be typically shorter than traditional racetracks and will include obstacles and challenges that test the pilot's skill and the vehicle capabilities. The vehicles will fly low altitude. eVTOL Racing aims to create a new form of entertainment and a platform for showcasing cutting-edge technologies related to aviation, software and electronics. The first major eVTOL racing series is the Airspeeder World Championship, which was set to launch in 2022. It was to take place in a series of races across the world. The progress has been slow on this front, but what we did get in 2022 was the world's first electric flying car race in the form of EXA series. The flying racing vehicles were operated remotely. The plan is to have pilots on board in the future races as the technology gets more established. Now, it may look like child's play, but at high speeds, it is very easy for a quadcopter aircraft, which these racers are, to lose control at turns. And perhaps this provides one of the key learning opportunities that is to iron out issues of maintaining control while doing turns. The company making the racing vehicles is called Eloda Aeronautics. The driving force behind the race and racing vehicles is Matt Pearson, who started working on this concept way back in 2016 and set up a base in South Australia. To start with, a multicopter design was chosen for its simplicity, easy proliferation and practicality. Recently, a fourth iteration of the Airspeeder, namely the Airspeeder Mark IV, was announced by Eloda Aeronautics. Its design looks inspired from a Formula 1 race car. The previous models, namely Mark 1 to Mark 3, ran purely on battery energy. The Mark IV is being designed to run on hydrogen. It will feature a hydrogen turbine that will burn hydrogen to run an alternator. The electricity produced will be used to power the four tilting duct rotors. It will also be the first racer to be crewed. We won't have to wait long for this aircraft to make a physical appearance as the first crewed races are scheduled to take place in 2024. Let's break down the design and look at each of the individual elements. Just like the Formula 1, this aircraft has front and rear wings. The rear wing is mounted on top of double vertical stabilizers. The design also features box wings. It is known about box wings that they provide the highest amount of lift for the lowest span. There might also be synergy between the box wing and the front tilting duct rotor providing additional lift because of being inside the rotor prop wash. The compactness of the aircraft is a necessary feature. The bigger the aircraft is, the lesser its agility because of higher moment of inertia. You may have noticed that it is easier to perform flips with a small quadcopter drone, while it's difficult to do so with a bigger drone. 
The same principle applies for scaled up vehicles and for agility it's important to keep the aircraft as compact as possible. On the other hand, not having enough width also means susceptibility to flip upside down in case of a high speed turn. Details of Mark IV reveal a length of 5.73 meters and a width of 3.62 meters and a height of 1.44 meters. It is longer than the opener Blackfly but it is smaller in its width and height compared to the same. The airframe is made up of carbon fiber composite. The rotor diameter is 0.875 meters. This gives it a slightly higher disc loading in the tilt rotor category. The Mark IV aircraft will have a maximum speed of 360 km per hour and will have a flight range of 300 km. The top speed will be achieved in 30 seconds. The maximum takeoff weight of the racing aircraft is expected to be 950 kg. It is obvious that this higher weight for a single seater will require loads of power. The aircraft is to be powered by a 1000 kW Thunderstrike hydrogen electric turbo generator. The Thunderstrike engine is specifically developed for use in EV tolls. It incorporates an additively manufactured combustor designed to keep the hydrogen flame temperature relatively low, thus greatly reducing nitrous oxide emissions. From calculations using the range equation, it was found that about 190 kilowatt hours of energy would be required to achieve a range of 300 kilometers. This means that at least 6 kilograms of hydrogen will be needed on board. Based on the density of 26.3 grams per liter of hydrogen at 700 bars, a volume of 228 liters would be required for the hydrogen tank. It would be difficult but not impossible to find that space in this sleek vehicle. The aircraft has a fixed skid landing gear. If you look at the propulsion system, we notice that the aircraft has eight ducted propellers located in four propeller housings. Two propellers are inside each ducted housing. All four ducted housings have a 360 degree dual gimbaled capability. The aircraft has eight electric motors, one for each propeller. The front ducted propellers are mounted on the front sides of the fuselage and the rear ducted propellers are mounted on the top rear of the box wings. The Mark IV has a canopy over the cockpit at the rear and on each side of the cockpit are air intake grills to cool the hydrogen electric turbo generator. Overall, the Mark IV is a very cool design. Hydrogen is slowly becoming the first choice for many upcoming concepts as progress on the battery technology front has been slow. Hydrogen is expensive, but for racing purposes, cost is not the factor that trumps the need for speed. eVTOL racing is still in its early stages and it remains to be seen how popular it will become. In just the fourth iteration of the airspeeder, we have seen radical changes being made based on the learnings of the previous designs. EVTOL racing is an exciting and innovative new form of motorsport that could potentially revolutionize the way we travel and inspire a new generation of pilots, engineers, and designers. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.